so hey there guys so i want to tell you guys about my makeup look for today sorry i did stain this earlier i should take it off but i want to tell you guys about my makeup look because i went to my boyfriend's house i primed my eyes with the anastasia eye primer and then i used the kaja lip oil and then i set my eyes with the ColourPop pretty fresh powder and then for my eyeshadow today i decided to just go into the plush like me palette by ColourPop because i just wanted to do the ColourPop palette today so I went in with the shade um, Velour in the crease. Then I darkened up the crease more with Velvet one. And then I used um, Girl Band on the outer corners. And then for the lid, I went into Knee Highs, which is like this really pretty red shimmer. And then for the brow bone, I went in with Runway. And then for my inner corners, I used the shade Throwback, which is like this really pretty like shimmery pink. And that's everything I used from the palette. I don't know why I keep on getting hair in my face. Struggle of my life. And then for my waterline, I went into the ColourPop Gel Liner in the shade Joyride. And then I went in with my Essence Lash Primer, of course. And then for my mascara, I went into the Wet n Wild Big Papa Mascara. And then I went into the Lash Discovery by Maybelline on the bottom lashes. And then I primed my face with the Do It Spray and the Rare Beauty Illuminating Primer. And then I just used my good old ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hydrolonic Acid Tinted Moisturizer. This is always my go-to if I just want something really light in the shade Fair 1N. And then for my concealer, same deal. My go-to, the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Dark Circle Eraser in the shade 95 and then I set my under eyes with the House Labs powder and then I set my face with the ColourPop Pretty Fresh powder. Sorry, I'm tired. And then for my bronzer, I went into the uh just my ColourPop Elviva Beach bronzer. You guys have seen this a million times, but I am trying to hit some serious pan. Um this I swear this lasts so long. You get like so much product, which I do like about a bronzer like when blushes when they make the blushes and highlights this big it's like i'm never gonna use it up but like a bronzer like kind of makes sense and everybody was like why is the packaging so big but i kind of appreciated it because again it's a bronzer um and then for my blush i just went into the makeup geek blush in the shade i believe this one's called infatuation yeah, it's just this light, like, really light neutral one. I've used that one a ton. Um, but I am trying to use these Makeup Geek blushes more. What shade is this? I gotta use this one. Heartthrob, that one is so pretty. Um, but yeah, I just keep these next to me now and use them when I can. And then for my highlight, I actually haven't used this one in quite a bit. I went into the Cindy Grace highlighter in the shade Golden Wonder. It's a really pretty, like, golden whitish shade and then I set my face with the do it spray and then I set my brows with the ColourPop brow boss gel and then um and then for my lips I went into the house labs lip crayon in the shade uh um dust and then as far as a reading update goes I actually I mean, I did start uh, Ruthless Vows last night. I finished Divine Rivals already. Um, and now I'm on the second book of the series, which it's only a duology, um, but I'm about to watch something with my mom, but I am going to read more. But I'm on page, I believe, 166, because I've been reading it mostly on my Kindle. I actually bought it on the Kindle just because the font is really, really tiny, in the uh actual book that I kind of found it a little frustrating and hard to read um but the covers are so beyond beautiful that I am probably gonna keep these hold on one second um but I need to mark it in this one because even though I'm not actually haven't marked it since earlier today um but i got up to page 166 so that's like a lot because again i just started it last night i got like 78 pages in last night which is still a lot this book is 417 pages so it is longer than um 
uh, Divine Rivals. So, yeah, that's about it. But, yeah, this really comes in handy. Um, And I did film my look, uh, a Get Ready With Me. I did film a Get Ready With Me on this look. Why can't I talk? Because um, I actually finally filmed my Akatar Get Ready With Me because I wanted to talk about the series. So, we're finally going to post that. Um, because I didn't really have time to talk about Akatar along with like the rest of the books that I've read this month, but I am going to mention it in what I read in the month of February because it's I it's gonna be eleven books, which is actually crazy because five books of Avatar and then the rest were all like four of them were standalones and then the Divine Rivals duology. Like that's a lot of books. So yeah. Bye. Okay, so hey there guys. Oh my god, I can't see right now. <laughs> so I wanted to tell you guys about my makeup look for today. Um, I went to see Madam Web with my friend. And honestly, that movie fucking sucked. <laughs> it was really bad. Um, I actually had a Fandango gift card from one of my friends that I used for this movie. So neither of us paid anything. And, uh... The movie was terrible. <laughs> we went to this place called Fat Boy Burrito before the movie, and oh my god, it was so good. I didn't get one of the burritos because they're like this big. They're huge. My friend got a burrito, but I got three tacos, and oh my god, so good. I got this Korean barbecue taco with teriyaki chicken that was bomb. I just got a regular steak taco because I wanted to try like a regular hard taco, but it was still delicious, like with guac and pico and sour cream. Oh, so good. And then I got um the pulled pork barbecue taco. Oh my god, that one was so good too. Everything was so good. And for some reason, like we never went here before. When it's like literally right across the movie theater that we go to. Across from the movie theater that we go to. But we usually go to the Chili's there. And I'm like, why haven't we been here before? It's so good. So we're probably going to go there again before we see another movie. Possibly next week. Because um, we're going to see Dune next week. Because Dune Part 2 comes out. And since he finally saw the first one. Like the week before. Before it left Netflix. Because I made him watch it before... Uh, part two comes out so it's like you need to watch part two in order to understand I mean part one in order to understand what the hell is going on in part two because you won't understand it unless you watch the first one so I prime my eyes with the Anastasia eye primer and then I use the Kaja lip oil and then I set my eyes with the Urban Decay press powder and then for my eyeshadow palette today I wanted to go back into the Odin's Eye Hella palette by Angelica Nyquist um, and Odin's Eye because I actually hadn't used this in quite a while and I haven't even used it this year yet So I was like, you know what? I kind of want to go into this palette um, so I went in with Goddess in the crease and I darkened at the crease more with Ouroboros Ouroboros and then I went in with soot on the outer corners and then for my lid I went in with venom and then for the brow bone, I did go in with Rebirth. It was a little bit dark, but I don't know. I, I just liked how it looked, so I just used that. And then for my inner corners, I went into Fluorescence. So that's everything that I used today. These mattes are so good. Like this pink and this green, they just blend beautifully together. Like you think that they would oxidize together, but no, they hold their pigment so well. So I really, really love this palette. The quality of the mattes and the shimmers in this palette are just top tier. Um, and Angelica Nyquist's palettes with Odin's Eye are always so good. I actually have been talking to her um, about Sarah J. Moss's series because she's actually currently reading Kingdom of Ash and she just bought A Court of Thorns and Roses. And I'm like, have you started A Court of Thorns and Roses yet? And we've been talking about it back and forth and it's just been really cool. Um, especially to talk to somebody that has created something takes the time to have a conversation with you is honestly it's like the coolest thing because like I own three of her palettes like she made this like what that's like insane to me like and and she's just so sweet I really love talking to her it's just been really a really cool experience and then for my waterline I went into the makeup by Mario 
liner in the shade black. I've also interacted with Batty Bean with Annette's Makeup Corner with the Fancy Face. Like, just congratulating all of them on their collaborations. And it's just been so cool, like, talking to them personally. I've also talked to Batty Bean about book recommendations. And I don't know, it's just... It's really cool when they take the time to connect with their subscribers. And then I went in with the Essence Lash Primer on the top lashes, of course. And then I just went into my Tarte Tartlet Tubing Mascara. And then I went in with the Maybelline Lash Discovery, of course, on the bottom lashes. And then I finally got my nails done earlier today because um, I actually left the house around like 11.30 today so I could go get my nails done. Um, but also, like, I kind of feel like I want to do this like another time now. Um, I went to Panera to go get a bagel and brought my Kindle with me and just brought my AirPods so I could read and eat my bagel and have coffee. Like, I don't ever do those kind of things for myself. And usually when I do, do eat out in public, I don't eat in the restaurant. I usually eat in my car, so I just don't have to deal with people. Like, that's just how I am. If I'm not eating with a friend, I don't like just sitting somewhere. But honestly, like... I wanted to try the whole, like, coffee shop kind of vibe to um, read. And actually, me and my friend are going to do that on Sunday. We're going to go to Barnes & Noble and just sit in the Starbucks there and read together. And honestly, I've been wanting to do that so long with a friend. He bought, like, a couple of self-help books when we were at Target. I actually bought four more books at Target, but they were actually books I really wanted. And we're just going to go there and read together. And we're going to go and watch a movie at his place again Oh, it's going to be such a great day. I can't wait to do that. And I'm going to be on another book already by that time. So I'm so excited. Anyway, then I primed my face with the Do It Spray and the um, Elf Poreless, Elf Wick Liquid Putty Primer, whatever the hell it's called. And then I went into the Glossier Foundation in the shade Very Light just because I wanted something with fuller coverage today. And then I went into the Tarte C Hydroflex Concealer, just my tried and true. And then I set my under eyes with the Pat McGrath Labs Powder. And then I set my face with the Urban Decay Press Powder. And then for my bronzer, I went just into my Pat McGrath bronzer in the shade Naked Desire. And then I don't know what is going on with her brand lately. Does anybody know? Like, everything she's been releasing has been honestly, like, terrible. And everybody's kind of, like, shocked that she's been, re like, re-releasing palettes and not really coming out with any new products. Like, we don't really understand what's going on. And then for my blush, I went into this hot pink blush in the Bessa May Sleeping Beauty palette. This is still, like, my favorite packaging ever that I own. Like, isn't it stunning? And this is still the only thing I ever got from, uh... Besame, but I wore my Maleficent uh, t uh, tank top today, so I wanted to wear um, this blush. So it's just a really pretty hot pink blush. And then for my highlight, I went into the Odin's Eye Highlighter in the shade Pink Star. If I could remember how to open this because um, this is just my go-to when I want like a good multi-dimensional highlight. It's just, it's so beautiful. It's like a pinkish greenish purpley shade it's just so stunning I absolutely love it and then I set my face with the milk makeup setting spray and then I set my brows with the elf wow brown then for my lips I went into the mac lip liner in the shade soar and then for my lips I went into this alice lipstick I actually haven't used this in quite a while so I went into the alice lipstick from ColourPop, the luxe lipstick this is actually the Velvet Blur Lipstick, and this one's in the shade. I always forget that the shade name is not on the bottom. That's why I'm glad I kept the box. It's in the shade Most Curious. It's like this really stunning, like, vibrant pink shade, and I thought it went perfectly with uh, the look that I did. And then as far as a reading update goes, I'm actually going to finish Ruthless Vows tonight. I'm on page 397. I gave up reading it on my in in the book just the font is way too small for me so no <laughs> um but I'm on page 397 so I'm gonna finish it like right now I just have another like 20 pages left so 
I read like another 50 pages when I came home. I read like 100 pages today already and then I read another like 50 pages when I got home. So yeah, that's it. Bye. And then I'm going to start a new book tomorrow. I think I'm going to start um, Powerless by Lauren Roberts because I just really need to start this one. I have so many books that I want to read. And I was going to start a trilogy before I read this, but I was like, no, let me read this first and then I can just go right into the trilogy because this is only one book for now because I want to read this before the other two books come out because they're coming out in April and July. So I want to just get this book read. So yeah, but I have a lot of good ones and I'm super excited to read it. So yeah, that's it. Bye. Okay, so hey there guys. I want to tell you guys about my makeup look for today. I actually have no idea what I'm doing today because my boyfriend hasn't answered me yet and it's almost four o'clock at this point. I just filmed my all the books I read in February and I think I'm just going to go to Target because I actually am going to return three books that I bought because I actually am reading them all or finish them on my Kindle. So I don't have to keep the physical copies. I can just return those and buy other books that I want to get at some point. But honestly, I'm on a book ban right now because I bought way too many books the past couple of weeks. So I have to read those in order to justify buying new ones because I don't just want a whole bunch of unread books on my shelf not being read. So I primed my eyes with the ColourPop Party Proof Primer, and then I used the Kajal Lip Oil, and then I set my eyes with the Pretty Fresh Powder from ColourPop. And then for my eyeshadow palette today, I just decided to go into the Not A Box Chocolates palette by ColourPop. And I'm wearing my glasses again because I only have like one pair of contacts left, and I have to make those last to work the weekend. So yeah, so anyway, um, I went in with Old Chip in the crease, then I darkened up the crease more with uh amaretto and then i used um what is this one called 90 percent cacao on the outer corners and then for the lid i went in with vibe chalk and then for the inner corners i went in with champagne truffle and that's everything i used from this palette i just wanted to use an easy go-to neutral palette and i love this one and i try to use this one at least like once a month and you know i just wanted to use color pop again so and then for my waterline, I went into the Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil in the shade Brown. And then I just went in with my Essence Lash Primer. And then for my mascara, I went into the Act Natural Mascara by ColourPop. And then I just used the Maybelline Lash Discovery on the bottom lashes. And then I primed my face with the Do It Spray and the uh, Rare Beauty Illuminating Primer. And then I just used my e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter in the shade... Uh, uh, fair and then for my concealer I went into the Lancome Taint Idol Ultra Wear All Over Concealer in the shade 090 and then I set my under eyes with the House Labs powder and then I set my face with the Pretty Fresh powder by ColourPop and then for my bronzer I just went into the ColourPop Alviva Beach bronzer and then for my blush and highlight I just went into the uh, Lunar Has It blush by Kathleen Lights. These are all her blushes from the Zodiac collection from ColourPop these are still like my favorite blushes ever from ColourPop and I actually hadn't used Lunar Has It in a while and this used to be like my favorite go-to everyday blush. So I wanted to use it today and then I just went into Dreamscape which is also like a stunning highlighter from ColourPop so I just used that. And then I set my face with the uh, Do It Setting Spray and then I set my brows with the e.l.f. Well, well the ColourPop Brow Boss Gel and I actually got my eyebrows done. Um, I got them waxed yesterday at the nail salon. Um, because I did get my nails done finally. I finally had time. I would have went today if I didn't know I wasn't seeing him, but I don't know what is going on. And then for my lips, I went into the e.l.f. Sheer Stick in the shade Golden Pear because I just wanted to use like a go-to. So yeah, that's it. Bye. Oh, and as far as a reading update goes, I decided to, I finished Ruth's Vows last night, first of all. I finished the second book in the Divine Rivals duology, and then I started Powerless this morning. I was just too tired to read anymore last night, but I started this this morning, and I'm on page 85 already. I'm actually going to return the physical copy because I only got through, like, the first three chapters this morning, but literally this font is so freaking tiny that there's like a lot of words on the page and I, I just, it just gives me a headache trying to read this, these smaller fonts with a lot of words on them. I prefer like 
bigger fonts and less words because then I feel like you get through a, a book faster, but also it just makes it harder for me to read physically. So I just decided to purchase this on my Kindle and I started reading it on my Kindle this afternoon and that's why I'm on page 85 already. So I'm going to return the physical copy. I don't need books being on my shelf that I don't need them being ta like taking up room when um, I can just buy other books that I know I'm it's just easier for me to read the physical copy. So like before I purchase certain books now I mean I have so many books at this point like I said I'm on a book buying ban for this for March because I really just need to read the books that I have um that I'm gonna look at the font first before actually deciding to purchase them this is such a beautiful cover and so is Divine Rivals and Ruthless Vows but I read uh Ruthless Vows pretty much entirely on my Kindle and that's how I finished it so quickly but also it just makes it easier to read because the the font is bigger on the Kindle and it just feels like you're able to read it faster. So yeah, that's it. Bye. Okay, so hey there guys. I want to tell you guys about my makeup look for today. So I'm about to go to my boyfriend's house. Um, actually ended up seeing a friend last night. Um, I thought I was just going to stay home because he didn't answer me until like 5 and I was like, it's kind of late now. But I actually ended up seeing a friend um, that I hadn't seen in a while. So it was fun. Just went over her house and we played some games and ate some Chinese food. And it was nice. I was glad that I saw her. So I primed my eyes with the ColourPop Party Proof Primer. And then I used the Kajal Lip Oil. And then I set my eyes with the ColourPop Party Proof. I mean the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Powder. And then I went in with the ColourPop 1111 palette just because I felt like using it today. I'm kind of just going in with like easier eyeshadow palettes while I can't see. So I'm just like going in with ones that are like trusty dusties and easy to blend. So I went in with uh, protection in the crease. Then I darkened up the crease more with perfect harmony. And then for my outer car car nurse i went in with empowered and then for my lid i went in with the shade balanced and then for my brow bone i used just brighter days from blend bunny and the forget me not palette and then for my inner corners i went into the shade total angel so that's everything that i use just super easy and then for my waterline i just went into the same liner that i went into yesterday which is the makeup forever one in the shade brown Limitless Brown, I believe, and then I just went in with the Essence Lash Primer, and then for my mascara, I went into the Tower 28 Jet Black Mascara, and then I went in with the Maybelline Lash Discovery on the bottom lashes. I actually ended up going to Ulta yesterday and picked up a new lash discovery, but I should have probably picked up an Act Natural one from ColourPop and also a Lengthening Mascara from ColourPop. I also forgot to pick up my Spot Cleaner as well, so I just forgot everything. <laughs> Um, but I did pick up the, the lash discovery, which is what I really needed, but yeah, I'm going to have to probably go back and pick up brush cleaner. And then I primed my face with the Do It Spray and the Rare Beauty Illuminating Primer. And then I went in with the NYX Bear With Me Tinted Skin Veil in the shade Pale Light. And then for my concealer, I went into the NYX Bear With Me Concealer Serum in the shade, uh, what is this called again? Zero one fair and then I set my under eyes with the house labs powder and then I set my face with the color pop pretty fresh powder And then for my bronzer, I just wanted to go into a cream bronzer I don't know why it didn't blend that well over here and also again. I can't really see that well. So um, Bear with me if it's not like absolutely perfect, but it just like didn't blend over here I don't know why so this is the shade Laguna Beach So I just went into that and then for my blush I went into um what is this shade called? I went into another one of the Zodiac blushes from the ColourPop and Kathleen Lights collection. This one's called I Need Space. So I just used that. I almost dropped it. And then for my highlight, I just went into the pinky frosty highlighter in the Blend Bunny Cosmetics palette. And this is the shade Butterfly. So I just went into that one. It's like this really pretty frosty highlighter. And then I set my face with the Do It Spray, and then I set my brows with the ColourPop Brow Boss Gel. And then for my lips, I actually picked this up at Ulta yesterday because I was really interested in trying one of these. So this is the NYX Fat Oil Slick Click in the 
uh, skinny lip balm in the shade uh, link in my bio. That's cute, actually. I like that name. And it's just this really pretty, like, nudish lipstick. It's kind of like a hybrid glossy lip oil, and it's actually really, really nice. So, yeah, that's it. And then as far as a reading update goes, I'm actually just reading this on my Kindle. I think I said yesterday that I was going to return the three books that I just ended up reading solely on my Kindle. So I got back like $45. Like I'm not going to keep them on my shelf if I just end up purchasing them on here because why do I need to purchase the book twice for? So like I said, I started Powerless yesterday and I got up to page like 166 last night. And then today I'm on page 240. And this is like 497 pages and then there's a bonus chapter so I got pretty far I'm all almost halfway through so I think that's pretty good um I'm hoping to have this book finished by Saturday um and then I'm really dying to get into some of the trilogies that I have um but I have some really exciting books on my TBR for March I really cannot wait to share them with you I'm, I'm of course going to post my March TBR and my February reading wrap-up. I actually uh, filmed my February reading wrap-up yesterday, so that'll be up probably like March 1st or March 2nd. So yeah, that's it. Bye! Okay, so hey there guys. I want to tell you guys about my makeup look for today. I did work um, I would have had my makeup look on, but I actually ended up playing Monopoly with my brother and his friend because we've been hanging out a lot and he just so happened to be over tonight. I had no idea he was going to be here. Um, and they were just setting up Monopoly when I went to say hi to them and he's like, do you want to play with us? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> so I actually haven't played Monopoly in like so long. I was like, yeah, sure. I'll play. Like it was a nice unwinder after work. So yeah, it was fun. Um, and I also finished my book. I finished Powerless. So good. Such a good book. Oh my god. If you love fantasy, if you love the Hunger Games, and if you love like just a good fantasy book, I loved it. It was definitely a five out of five stars for me. What a great way to start the month. So good. I already have one book read in March. So excited. Um, so yeah, I primed my eyes with the Anastasia eye primer and then I used the Kaja lip oil and then I set my eyes with the, um, my Dior backstage powder. And then for my eyeshadow palette today, I decided to go into the Natasha Denona Yucca palette just because I really wanted to use it today. That's really the only reason. I had the Nomad palette out as well, the Akavango Safari, but I decided to go with this one because I actually haven't used this one as much as the Akavango Safari palette this year, I think I used the Akavango one like two or three times this year. This one, I think I've only used maybe once. So I wanted to go back into it again today. And plus, I wanted to use Natasha Denona. Um, so I went in with Valley in the crease. And I darkened up the crease more with Tipu and Akia. Just mixed those two together. And then for my outer corners, I went in with Flax. And then for my lid, I went in with my favorite shade in the palette, which is Kamarabi. This palette is so much better chef's kiss than the i need a nude palette just when you use this palette you realize how fucking great the formula is these shimmers are unreal they are so stunning on the lids like i said some of the best shimmers i've ever used if she comes out with a pink palette with this formula i will die i wish that she would have done that for valentine's day but she didn't I don't know why she keeps shooting herself in the foot with her Valentine's Day releases. Like, usually the cheek palettes are amazing for Valentine's Day. I am thinking about getting that cheek palette because it's really pretty. But also, I've been on such a low buy for makeup lately. And I, also, I haven't even posted my haul that I filmed, like, a couple weeks ago. So, all I've been posting is book videos. <laughs> I still have all the books I read in February. And I also have my March TBR to post. And then after that, maybe I'll post some makeup videos, but I'm still getting ready doing my makeup while I'm talking about books, so I'm still make I'm still doing my makeup, so, um, and then for my inner corners, I went in with, uh, Plantasia. 
Um, so that's everything I use from the palette. And then I just use Brighter Days from Lend Money on the brow bone. And then I... Um, use my Essence Lash Primer and then for my mascara I just went in with my little sample of the NARS Climax mascara and then I use the Mega Forever liner in the shade Limitless Brown and then I just that was it for my eyes and then I primed my face with the Do It Spray and my neck is killing me I need to get into bed I'm so tired I am really tired today I didn't really get to relax that much so um and the e.l.f poreless putty primer and then for my foundation I use the Laura Mercier Real Flawless Wet Weightless Perfecting Foundation in the shade 1C1 Cool Vanilla and then for my concealer I use the uh, Real Flawless Weightless Perfecting Concealer in the shade ON1 and then I set my under eyes with the Pat McGrath Labs powder and then I set my face with the Dior powder and then for my bronzer uh. excuse me sorry <laughs> I went into the Gucci bronzer in the shade 01. And then for my blush, I just went into my Gucci blush because I just wanted to use it today. I love this blush so much. So I'm like, why not? So I used the uh, Cheeks and Eyes Powder Luminous Matte Blush in the shade 02 Tender Apricot. I don't know why I was holding it like this the whole time. So fancy. And then for my <laughs> highlighter, I used the Rare Beauty Highlighter in the shade exhilarate and then I set my face with the milk makeup setting spray and then I set my brows with the ColourPop brow blush gel and then for my lips um where is it where is my lipstick I know I put it in here somewhere hold please I know it's in here um, who do foods? Seriously, where the F is it? Did I leave it? I probably left, no, it's right here. I thought I left it at work again. I used my Gucci lipstick, so I used the bronzer, the blush, and the lipstick, because I just love Gucci products. So this is the Penny Beige Matte Lipstick. I love this color, and I was just like, you know what? I really want to use it. I don't think I've even used it this year, so it's like, you know what? pulling this out today so yeah that's it bye and oh yeah so now I'm going to start the once upon a broken heart trilogy I'm so friggin excited for this series you have no idea this is some of the highest rated books when it comes to a fantasy trilogy like this one and the second one are supposed to be like amazing so I cannot fucking wait for this like I was gonna jump right into this after I finished uh, Ruthless Vows, but I wanted to read Powerless first, and I can't believe I already finished it, so I'm just going to jump right into this. I'm so excited. So, bye! Hey, so, hey there, guys. I want to tell you guys about my makeup look for today. I actually just got home from work. Sorry. I just had a cough drop, so um, it was kind of lingering in my mouth. Um, So, I primed my eyes with the uh, Anastasia eye primer and then I use the Kaja lip oil and then I set my eyes with the Urban Decay pretty uh, Urban Decay pressed powder I mean um, and then for my eyeshadow palette today I wanted to go into my Cosmic Brushes Muse palette I actually think I've only used this palette maybe once this year so yeah I'm trying to like rotate palettes that I haven't used as much this past week and I just really wanted to use this today because I thought it'd be really cute with what I was wearing um because I actually bought this shirt like I think at the end of January from my store and I just hadn't worn it yet it's just a really cute like florally top um but also I didn't want to wear it until March because like this is kind of more like a springy kind of top um so I wanted to pair it with my favorite spring palette which is the Cosmic Brushes palette um, this is still my only Cosmic Brushes palette, like, I haven't really pulled the trigger on any other ones, and I've said this last year, but, um, Kat Mahoney by, from Beauty Jacked actually gifted this palette to me, and this was my favorite palette last year, and it's still such a great palette, like, I wanted to see if I loved it just as much as I did last year, and honestly, it still performs beautifully, like, these mattes are just so easy to work with and the last ability is fantastic and the shimmers are so pretty. So I went in with, I wanted to do kind of more of like a grungy green look today. So I went in with filigree in the crease. 
then I darkened up the crease more with Willow. And then I used Fig to really deepen out the outer corners. And then for the lid, I really wanted to go into Inspire. It's just such a beautiful shade. I love it. And then for my inner corners, I just used um, Antique because I wanted a little bit of that pinky, like rose goldish almost on my inner corners because there is a little bit of pink in this and I just thought it turned out so pretty. So I love this palette and I will continue to love this palette. Don't mind this pimple. <laughs> I actually put a pimple patch on it at work um, before I went to work and it looks a lot better than it did before. <laughs> and then for my waterline, I went in with um, my green liner from ColourPop. This is the cream gel liner in the shade a glow and then I went in with my essence mascara um and then for my I mean essence lash primer and then for my mascara I don't even know where it is right now excuse me I just went, went in with the rare beauty one sorry I have a little heartburn because um I had like this chicken vodka wrap from like one of my favorite restaurants in the mall so I just got that to go. I didn't even look if we had leftovers today, but whatever. <laughs> um, so it has like tomato sauce in it, so it can give me a little bit of heartburn. So I'm just having a Tums right now. And then I went into the Mamie Moon Lash Discovery on the bottom lashes, as always. Hold, please. And then I primed my face with the Do It Spray and the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. And then for my foundation and concealer, I went into the Tom Ford um, Traceless Foundation Stick in the shade 0, 0.0 Pearl. And then for my concealer, I just went into my House Labs one. Still looks really good, honestly. These two products look really good together. Um, in the shade 01 Fair Neutral. And then I set my under eyes with the Pat McGrath Labs powder. And then I set my face with the Urban Decay Press powder. I'm really exhausted, you guys. Like, today I had to be in at work at 2. And just, I just need some downtime. I haven't really had a down day in a little while. I've been trying to get more stuff done. But, yeah, I'm just freaking exhausted. And then... For my bronzer, I went into my House Labs bronzer in the shade Light Level 1 because it's one of my favorites. And then for my blush, I just went into Hibiscus Haze by House Labs as well because I wanted to pick up a little bit of that pink that I was wearing. And then for my highlight, um, I just went into the Blend Bunny Noctilucent palette because it's one of my favorites. And honestly, it's just as intense now. As when I first put it on this afternoon and I went into my favorite shade which is Enlighten. I've used this highlighter so many times. I love this palette so much. My love for it has still not subsided <laughs> since I got it last year. And then I set my face with the Milk Makeup Setting Spray and then I set my brows with the Elf Wow Brow. And then for my lips, oh my god, why can't I close that? I'm just going to put it over there because that's annoying me. <laughs> I went into the ColourPop lip liner in the shade uh, BFF. <laughs> Could not read the font for a second, but I should know which one it is. Look how cute this bag is, by the way. I got this from Lucky like a couple of weeks ago. I freaking love it. I've been using it the past couple of weeks, and I love this bag. I'm, like, obsessed with it. I think this is my favorite bag I've ever gotten from there. I have like three bags from them. I also love the other crossbody that I got, but their crossbody bags are just so good and they're so underrated, but I feel like I need to do a clothing haul again at some point. I still need to post my book haul that I filmed a couple weeks ago. Um, where the heck is my lip product? Did I leave it at work again? I do that literally all the time because I just leave it in the bathroom and then it just stays there until I get back to work. I used the Urban Decay Liquid Vice Lipstick in the shade Safe Word, I believe it's called. But I think I accidentally left it at work. So I'm sorry about that, but uh, I don't have it. So yeah, it's not here. I guess I left it at work. Not the end of the world. <laughs> so that's it for my makeup. And then as far as a reading update goes, like I told you guys, I started Once Upon a Broken Heart last night by Stephanie Garber. 
I'm already 166 pages in. This book is actually really easy to read. Like, um, I saw from Haley Pham. She loves this series. Like, this is the, these are like six star books for her, but they are very easy to read. Like, they're just very easily worded, and I feel like I'm probably going to finish this book in maybe two days. Like, I might finish it tomorrow night or like Monday morning the latest, but it's just, I think I'm going to get halfway through by tonight, maybe even more because I'm already really loving it. I'm really enjoying it. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I'm really excited for, excuse me, for tomorrow though, because me and my best friend are going to Barnes and Noble and we're going to read together and we're going to book shop and then we might go shopping in the actual mall um, and then we're gonna go to eat there as well because there's this Japanese place that we really love there. We've only been there once, but we've really been wanting to go back because it's so good. And then we're just gonna watch the creator back at, um, his place. So yeah, that's it. Bye! Because he still hasn't seen it yet. So bye! Okay, so hey there guys. I wanted to tell you guys about my makeup look for yesterday. I got home really late last night, so I'm just wearing my pajamas from the next day um so I wasn't able to say my makeup look last night because I was out with my best friend so I primed my eyes with the Anastasia eye primer and then I used the Kajal lip oil and then I set my eyes with the Urban Decay pressed powder and then for my eyeshadow palette I went into the Star Wars palette by ColourPop um because I wanted to do a red look with this palette yesterday so I went in with Republic in the crease, then I darkened up the crease more with Loyalty, and then I used Star Destroyer on the outer corners, and then for the lids, I went into Outer Rim, and then for the inner corners, I went into New Hope, and that's everything I used from this palette, and then I just went into Brighter Days from Blend Bunny on the brow bone, of course. I think I actually have Hit Pan on that shade, because um, it's just such a good uh, brow bone highlight. I use it every day, so... Um, but I went to the mall and book shopping with my friend yesterday, so, and I got this t-shirt from, I got this t-shirt from the mall yesterday, but I, it's an Appa t-shirt from Avatar, and I'm literally in love with it. I love Appa, he's literally my favorite character. Dropping my mirror, of course. It's off to a great start already. Um, and then I went in with the Makeup by Mario liner in the shade Black, and then I just went in with the Essence Lash Primer, and then I went in with the Benefit Fan Fest Mascara, and then I went in with the Maybelline Lash Discovery on the bottom lashes, but I did go in, I did wear a new shirt from Lucky yesterday. It had, like, red roses on it and, like, a hand of, I don't know if it's, it's like a Hamza, basically, um, and it was, I just thought it was really cute, so I bought it, like, two days ago from work. And then I primed my face with the Do It Spray and the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer, the Liquid Putty Primer, sorry. And then for my foundation, I went into the Lancome Taint Idol Ultra Wear in the shade 120N. This doesn't expire till November. I don't know why I thought it was, like, earlier. And then for my concealer, I just went into the Naked Quickie Concealer by um, Urban Decay in the shade 10NN. And then I set my under eyes with the... Pat McGrath Labs powder, and then I set my face with the Urban Decay powder. And then for my bronzer, I went into the NYX Matte Bronzer in the shade Medium. I just felt like using that because I hadn't used it in a hot second. And then for my blush, I went into the Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics Rouge Romance Palette. I definitely don't support her anymore, but this blush palette is amazing. And I went into the Deep Red shade in the shade Ever After still such a good palette so I like using it when I can and then for my highlight I went into the Rudolph highlighter by Colourpop just because this has like a red gold tinge to it it's in the shade Jingle 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 it's just really a really beautiful highlighter and then I set my face with the Milk Makeup Setting Spray and then I set my brows with the Elf Wow Brow and then for my lips I just went into the Colourpop BFF lip liner yet again because I've just been using that every day and then for my liquid lipstick I went into the Kat Von D liquid lipstick in the shade bow and arrow this is such an old one from Marshalls um and that's it for the makeup I also finished Once Upon a Broken Heart last night I'm very very excited that I finished the first one already I absolutely loved it I thought it was just such an easy book to read and it was just so good. Oh my god. If you're a fan of fantasy, I highly suggest reading that book. So now I started the 
second one last night called The Ballad of Never After. And this one is actually one of the highest books, one of the highest rated books on Goodreads pretty much ever. And also like the highest rated book that I have on my want to read list right now on Goodreads. So I'm really excited. I'm on page 50. I just started it last night. So I'm about to read for like another hour before I get ready to see my boyfriend. But it's really good so far. I really cannot wait to read more. And then I will go right into the third one after I finish that one. And then I have like 5 million other books to read. But I've just been having such a blast. I actually brought the book with me yesterday. Once Upon a Broken Heart. Because like I said, we were going to read a little bit of Barnes & Noble. So I got like 20 pages read there. And then my friend was having like stomach issues when we went back to his apartment to watch a movie. So I actually read like another like 40 pages while he was in the bathroom. So, or actually almost 50 pages because I only had 20 pages by the time I got home to finish it. So I'm actually really happy I brought it with me because I got like almost 80 pages read when we were out. So I still do stuff, but that doesn't mean I can't read when, uh, when I'm out with friends. So, but I'm not going to schlep that hardcover with me. So that's why it'll be great that... I should have those two finished before this week is over. So yeah, that's it. Bye.